Raza Bani for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to bump into randomly here in Liverpool, my man Sam Maxwell. Sam, how we doing, mate? I'm good, Raza. Thanks for having me, mate. Yeah, feeling good. A uh, little quiet night out with the missus? It is, yeah. I've got, a, I've got a gym mate who's boxing on this show, and I know another lad who I used to be gym mates within the amateurs. He's boxing on the show, so I thought, come and show some support. Sam, you've kind of been through this process before where you were once fighting in shows like this. Is it important for yourself and fighters like yourself? Who've now established, you know, fighting on TV and, and mainstream TV to come and support that next generation? Definitely, I think so. And um, just giving back. And yeah, this, these are really important shows for, for people's careers. So anything I can do to help out, I'm, I'm going to do. Also good to hear a bit. The Scousers are out as well in, in great number as well today. Yeah, it's great. It's the, all these, I'm glad the small show, whole shows back, are back. Last year, when they closed them all down, it was horrible. But um, they're back now. There seems to be one every week. And uh, yeah, they're the best thing about boxing, I think. Just, just, just great to be here. And in, our city, in Liverpool as well. I've never uh, boxed. I've been boxing 20 years. I've never boxed in this um, venue before. Never even seen boxing in here. So it's really good. It's like a small your, um, your call. Like the, the way it's laid out, it's, it's brilliant. Um, Sam, it's been a couple of months, what, two, two and a bit months now, yeah. obviously, since your uh, fight with, obviously, Akeem Ennis Brown, uh, well, victorious uh, on, on the night. Uh, I'm sure you've kind of looked back at the fight now. How did you kind of assess it? Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a hard fight, scrappy fight, and um, that's what it turned out to be, maybe harder than I thought, but I felt like I landed a cleaner shot. I, I tried to push the fight a bit more, and it's what the judges like the, be like the better, and I think I finished off the last two rounds pushing him back a bit more, and it, the judges seemed to score in my way, so it was a tough fight, close fight, but uh, you know, I'm just happy to get out there with a win and, and then look to see what's next now. I know there was needle before the fight. Obviously, we saw that press conference, and it was lively, and it got numbers, and people viewed in, but... Was that just for the fight? Is that is that finished for you? Do you see this chapter close? No, no, I don't don't like don't like him at all. Yeah, he's not a good guy. Like, don't like anything about him. Not how he carries himself. Don't like his boxing. Don't don't like how he looks. Don't don't like nothing about him. And um, it, after the fight, he he came. I seen him and he did try to do a fist bump. But I, I I don't know what goes through his head. Like he said some personal horrible things to me about me and my girlfriend. And then to think it just left in the ring. I don't know. I don't don't know what he's thinking. So yeah, not not friends with him. Like. You know, sometimes you get that needle and, and it's between you and the fighter. Do you feel like it, it, it goes too far when you start bringing in family members and, and partners and mothers and fathers? Definitely. It shows, it shows your class. Like, some people do it. And, um, but yeah, I, don't, I don't believe it in me. It's got no class. Like, it's bring it between the two fighters and, and let, let, us, let us fight it out and, and, and go at each other. But bringing other people in, ah, just, just disrespectful. And I don't think there's any part for it in boxing. I know you're obviously looking forward. I don't, I'm not sure what Frank's mentioned to you, but a rematch maybe down the line? Will that, could that potentially happen? That's definitely on the cards. I think um, in the contract with the, with the fight, I don't know what, how, it's, how it laid out, but um, that's definitely there. But I don't know how interested I am in that because I, it was a terrible fight to watch and I, I think it'll just be the same again with him. He, he, he's not going to bring anything different. He, he's just a very awkward fighter. So I don't know, but it is, it is a possibility that we've been we've looking at, but um, I don't know what the future holds for me yet. don't know what opportunities are going to, are going to arise. I believe you're 15, 16 and 0 now. You kind of want to move forward. You're not going to get any younger. Obviously, you've got a partner, you're going to kids, family. You want to get out of the sport as quick as possible, meaning you want to make as much money as possible. Who are those names? Who are the ones that you want to go after? Well, I, I'm hoping... Josh Taylor and Jack Hart will fight and I, I think Josh Taylor's gonna gonna get the win. I think he's phenomenal and um, he's done everything then the like well so hopefully he moves up and then vacates from the belts and there's definitely some names ahead of me um, all around about my position in the WBO which I could fight and that's what that's what I'm hoping for, just the titles become vacant, I fight for a world eliminator and then can challenge for the title. That, that's my dream, that's my goal, what I'm visualising and uh, yeah, just fingers crossed. It's, it could happen, it's like, it's not like a, a mad dream, it's like, that could happen, two more fights, I could be boxing for a world title, so if everything goes to plan, so that's what I'm just going to focus on. I know the whole 135 division, both domestically, both in America as well, they're all waiting for Josh Taylor to hurry up and fight so he can eventually move up. We know Josh says, look, he'll, he'll like to fight a welterweight one day. That fight's now been pushed back to February with Catrill, but... Yeah. Once that fight does take place, do you think Josh will move up? Or do you think he'll stay? At maybe a Lopez comes up, maybe a Tank. Yeah, so it could, they're like, it's going to be all mega fights now. So it could be Tank, Lopez, or it could be Crawford or something like that. So, yeah, hopefully it's Crawford, he vacates it all. But I, to be honest, I'd like to see him v Lopez and Tank as well. So, yeah, I've just been watching like a fan. But hope, for my best interest, he moves up and vacates. But if he has to fight one of them two, I'm happy as well because uh, it's one for the fans. 
ideally another fight before the end of the year or are you going to wait till or you don't want to be dieting through Christmas and out early next year that's it I want to, want to be fighting before Christmas I've got a baby on the way now and uh, you know, need, need, the, need the money need to be sa- starting with the savings going in so and, yeah I feel like I'm in a good position I think there could be some good fights out for me there so just waiting on my managers to get back to me with what they, what they come up with and uh, you'll see what opportunities are on the table and see what's next but definitely want to be out before Christmas all right, Sam, I said I'm not going to take too much of your time. I know your boys out there fighting. Appreciate your time, my man, and hopefully we'll look forward to some fight news. Cheers, Raza. Thank Congratulations, you. Congratulations, baby, as well. Thank you. Sam Maxwell, IFL TV, thank you very much.